Dear students, in this topic, we shall take an overview of the endocrine glands of vertebrates. The vertebrates have a large number of endocrine glands and tissues that produce hormones. Most of the hormones are produced by only one endocrine gland, which is located at a specific site. However, some hormone-like substances, for example, prostaglandins and leukotrienes, are produced by most or all tissues of the body. And some hormones are produced by more than one specific tissues of the body. We shall take an overview of the vertebrate endocrine glands and the hormones which they produce. First, most important neuroendocrine gland is the hypothalamus. Hypothalamus produces seven hormones which affect the anterior pituitary gland. These hormones are the tropic hormones and have two types of effects. Four hormones have stimulatory effects and three hormones have inhibitory effects on release of hormones from the pituitary gland. These stimulatory hypothalamic hormones include the corticotropin releasing hormone CRH, growth hormone releasing hormone, gonadotropin releasing hormone GNRH and thyrotropin releasing hormone TRH. These hormones affect the anterior pituitary gland to produce the respective hormones. The hypothalamic inhibitory hormones include three hormones, MSH inhibiting hormone which is called MIH, prolactin inhibiting hormone and somatostatin. These hormones inhibit the secretion of hormones from anterior pituitary. These hormones which are inhibited include the melanocyte stimulating hormone, prolactin and growth hormone. Dear students, the anterior pituitary gland produces four types of tropic hormones and three other hormones which are non-tropic in action. Tropic hormones are those hormones which act on other endocrine glands and cause them to produce their own hormones. While non-tropic hormones are those which act directly on the tissues and produce their effects. The pituitary gland has two lobes. The anterior lobe produces four tropic hormones. These hormones include the luteinizing hormone, which acts on the gonads, especially the ovaries, follicle stimulating hormone that also acts on the gonads and causes them to produce the male and female sex hormones. The third hormone is the thyroid stimulating hormone TSH also called thyrotropin. It stimulates the thyroid gland to produce its hormone. Uh, the fourth hormone is the adenocorticotropic hormone or ACTH that stimulates the release of corticosteroids from the adenal cortex. The anterior pituitary gland also produces three non-tropic hormones. These include the growth hormone, prolactin and melanocyte stimulating hormones. They uh, promote growth, promote production of milk and stimulate melanin pigment respectively. Dear students, the posterior lobe of pituitary gland also produces two hormones. These hormones are antidiuretic hormone and oxytocin. Dear student, next endocrine gland is the thyroid gland. Thyroid gland has two types of glandular cells. The follicular cells which produce two hormones, thyroxine and triiodothyronine. While the parafollicular cells of thyroid produce one hormone that is called calcitonin. The next endocrine gland of vertebrates is the 
parathyroid gland. This produces one hormone which is called parathormone. Yes, students, this is the endocrine gland we will discuss. It is the adrenal gland. Adrenal gland is two parts. This is a dual gland. It is the adrenal cortex and the adrenal medulla. Adrenal cortex is दो तरह के हार्मोन्स प्रोड्यूस करता है जिन्हें मिनरलोकॉर्टिकॉइड्स और ग्लूकोकॉर्टिकॉइड्स कहते हैं इसके अलावा भी مزید हार्मोन्स प्रोड्यूस करते हैं ये ज्यादातर ग्लैंड जो हैं दो से जो हम टाइप्स बता रहे हैं इनसे ज्यादा हार्मोन्स भी प्रोड्यूस करते हैं बट वी आर डिस्कसिंग द मेजर हार्मोन्स तो मेजर हार्मोन्स जो एडिनल कॉर्टेक्स के हैं उसमें एल्डोस्टेरोन है जो कि मिनरलोकॉर्टिकॉइड है और ग्लूकोकॉर्टिकॉइड्स जिसमें तीन तरह के हार्मोन्स आते हैं कॉर्टिसोल कॉर्टिसोन और कॉर्टिकोस्टेरोन they are produced from adrenal cortex. Adrenal medulla दो बड़े important hormones produce करता है जो के epinephrine और norepinephrine है इन दोनों को combined form में catecholamines कहते हैं. Dear students, pancreas is a dual gland. It has exocrine part that produces uh, the digestive pancreatic juice but it also has islets of Langerhans which are endocrine in their function. They produce two hormones, insulin and glucagon. The next gland is the pineal gland. Pineal gland produces a hormone which is called melatonin and this melatonin is very important in circadian rhythms. Dear students, gonads, in addition to producing gametes, also act as endocrine tissues. The testes produce two types of hormones testosterone and inhibin from two types of glandular cells, Leydig cells and Sertoli cells. The ovaries produce two major hormones in females. These are estrogens. The major estrogen is the estradiol and the progesterone. Dear students, the placenta which develops during the fetal development also produces many hormones. The two major hormones produced by placenta are chorionic gonadotropin and placental lactogen. Dear students, heart is a pumping organ, but its atrium also produces an important hormone which is called atrial natriuretic factor that controls blood volume and pressure. Dear students, the gastrointestinal tract also produces many hormones. These hormones include cholecystokinin, chymodenin, gastrin, secretin, substance P and motilin. Many of these regulate the secretions of digestive juices and enzymes. Dear students, some hormones and hormone-like substances are produced by most or all tissues of the body. These hormones include leukotrienes, prostacyclines, prostaglandins and thrombozenes. These control various nucleotide formation and cyclic AMPs and cyclic GMPs. The hormones which are produced by more than one selected type of tissues include endorphins, epidermal growth factors, fibroblast growth factor, nerve growth factor and somatomedins. Dear students, from all this list we can conclude that some glands are distinct and are easily identifiable. However, a large number of endocrine tissues are not distinct and are found embedded in the organs which have quite different functions than the endocrine functions. That is why the identification and uh, discovery of endocrine glands has been a challenging task.